that CNN? <laughs> you fucking geeks. Alright, so let's not block the roadway. Get out of the way. Everything is illegal here. You guys want to talk here? Right behind with the cemetery behind me is pretty good. Oof, those lights are fucking bright, dude. Yeah, thank you. Enrique, what do you think of uh, the time you're about to do? Um, I think uh, I'm ready. I've been ready for the past nine months. You know, I didn't think that the system was going to be just. The sentencing wasn't just. I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of a crime. I admitted to that. And um, But as some of you may know, I filed a reduction of sentence hearing, and I'm asking the judge to recuse himself. This judge has, in the past, um, as a matter of fact, on August 25th, he uh, he sentenced a child sex misdemeanor, which I don't even know how that's a thing in D.C., sentenced him to zero jail time. Um, and that's not the first time he does that. He's done that multiple times. But, you know, I did the crime. I'm doing the time now. What do you have to say to the members of that church congregation? I have nothing to say to the members of that church or congregation anymore. No apology at all? Absolutely for what you not. I already doing? apologized to them once. And if you're fucking here to do gotcha questions, here, here, I'll tell you straight up. Uh, the same justice system that Black Lives Matter fights for is the same justice system that's championing my arrest. And I find that hysterical. And yes, I did burn their property and I apologized to them, but after what I heard from them, this was strictly political. They wanted to send a message. They wanted to put the bad guy, the villain, in jail. Congratulations, they have. But I am gonna say one thing. The Proud Boys ain't fucking going anywhere. Say it again. Uh, the Proud Boys ain't fucking going anywhere. And I'm tired of this system putting people in chains for their fucking political beliefs. So fuck, fuck the Department of Justice, okay? The FBI is a terrorist organization and I think that there's something, some type of banner with as much uh, issues that I have with the Marxism message that the Black Lives Matter movement does, there is something that they fight against and I, I agree with that. And it's abuse of the system. Who commands the Proud Boys now? Uh, I never commanded the Proud Boys, I'm just the voice. But as of right now, the Proud Boys are gonna be A-OK -okay without me. Uh, we've never really needed anybody to uh, tell us as individual members of the Proud Boys what to do. So if you're asking what the future of the Proud Boys is, it's the same thing that you've seen for the past four years. And uh, we are gonna be unapologetic, we're gonna keep fighting, and I've heard many times that the Proud Boys are splintering for the past four years, and I've heard that the Proud Boys uh, are are a group of white supremacists, Nazis, I've heard it all. And the truth is, these are the best gentlemen that I've ever had the pleasure of meeting and I've ever had the pleasure of representing. And all their actions are actions of gentlemen? Uh, you know, you might want to be more specific because if you want to ask if the actions of gentlemen, uh, we did 238 water rescues during Hurricane Harvey. Uh, we do community service constantly and we fight for constitutional rights. So yeah, I'm damn fucking proud of it. And you're proud of what happened on January 6th as well? I never said that. What did you say? Happened? I said, in January 6th, if somebody assaulted a police officer or something like that, then by all means. But a bunch of people walked into the Capitol, didn't hurt anybody, didn't break anything, didn't steal anything, and they're fucking sitting in a jail cell right now. And they're really sitting in a jail cell right now because of people like you people that go ahead and create this narrative for profit. So I'm gonna tell you this right now. The government's a tyrant. The corporate media, like people like you, are the problem with this country. And more people are waking up to that and I am so thankful for that. Hey man. Do you look forward to seeing your fellow Proud Boys who are still inside this jail that you're about to enter? I'm probably not gonna see them, that's not how jail system works. I don't know if uh, you cover the courts or anything, but that's not how 
they work. You I do. You don't put, so you put, so you should know that people that are sentenced don't get mixed together with people that are waiting trial. Is that correct? I, I don't think the decision has been made as well. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's policy. What are your feelings about the September 18th rally that some Proud Boys are reported to be uh, attending, the Free the Political Prisoners event? Uh, that's, that's all bullshit. We're not attending none of that. You know, if somebody wants, to, we, we, I have no problem with people want to, wanting to uh, uh, express their First Amendment rights on September 18th, but the Proud Boys will not be there. Uh, we've seen a hostile Department of Justice. We've seen the Metropolitan Police Department turn against the people of this country. And uh, I don't think for the Proud Boys, I haven't seen a single Proud Boy say that they're actually going to go. So, To I be clear, know. did you appoint somebody to be chairman of the Proud Boys while you are inside doing a time? Absolutely not. And so what do we expect to hear or see from the Proud Boys while you are incarcerated? You can go ahead and check us out on Telegram at Proud Boys USA. And to get updates on me, you can follow my Telegram channel, and that's at Noble Leader. But nothing on the street, none of the same activities that you've led in the lead up to My guys are individuals, and they can do as they please. As long as they follow those core tenets, there's no problem. And they'll be waiting for you when you get out. My brothers will always wait for me as I wait for them. I am my brother's keeper. I'm good. Is there anything else, is there anything else you would like to say, Enrique? I think that the left and the right need to start figuring out who their oppressors are, and they need to stop turning their guns on each other, and they need to figure out what the real situation in this country is, is that the government is growing, and we continue, we continue to see uh, people on both sides of the aisle championing uh, legislation and the way that they're persecuting people, and I think, uh, I don't think that that's something to be championed. Uh, uh, a very popular quote that we keep hearing is that the federal government can indict a ham sandwich. And if that quote isn't real or scary to them, then they're not fucking paying attention. Has this shaken your faith in law enforcement? Do you still back the blue, so to speak? I've never been a Blue Lives Matter flag waver. I do support uh, individual police officers. I always have. I know that they got a really tough job ahead of them, but if, uh, if they're out there oppressing people, then that's something that I definitely won't support. And the Metropolitan Police Department and the Capitol Police should be ashamed of themselves. Capitol Police murdered Ashley Babbitt in cold blood, a woman that probably weighed 120 pounds with absolutely no weapon on her. And uh, Mr. Michael Byrd should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law for murder. Amen. Thank you for your time. Thanks. You got some? Anything else? Not for me. Let's go in, baby. You're good? You're good? good. Ford, you good? Got all I need. All right. So let's get this shit done. Long will roll the old chariots along will roll the old chariots along and we'll all hang on behind. Alright. Love you, brother. Hey. What? I know what you said in front of them, but it's gonna be it. It's gonna be here for you in five months. Amen. Thank you, brother. Alright, brother? Appreciate it. Hello. What's going on? How you doing, sir? Pretty good. Right. Intake. Yes, sir. I'll get it from you when they open the gate. Oh, okay. All right, sir.
Hey, right, y'all can back up now. The monkey show's over. The goddamn monkey show's over. He's a, he's a human Stop being. It. Stop, man. Leave him alone. They're just doing their job. Big South. You ready, Sarge? Walk through. Yeah, we're good. Don't cross that line, man. I will not. Okay. If I cross I'm that line, sure. if I cross it, they might pull me in there with your black ass. <laughs> <laughs> Back to blue. Back to blue and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you. Take care. Hey, okay. Call me. Call me. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Okay.